Nellie here. Welcome to my Q&A for hitting 500 subscribers. Um, so you guys have been asking me questions the past three weeks in order to hit 500 subscribers. Um, I hit 500 subscribers last week I think, last weekend, something like that. So I've got the day off work so I am going to answer your questions. Um, it's just going to be on any order, just the way they appear on my phone on YouTube. Um, I have things behind me in order to answer those questions that you guys have asked. Um, some are near enough the same but I'll answer them all anyway. Um, so yeah, wait then now I'm just going to turn my brightness up because I can't actually see what it's saying. So Mangle Pink 1987 asked, who is your favourite character in The Lion King 2? I really like Kiara and Kovu um, and Vitani and Nuka so I like the kind of newish lines. I like Zero as well but if I had to pick a favourite Probably Kiara. She is my favourite character. Um, Mr. Akrizi asks, Have you seen Zootopia? If you have, what's your opinion on it and who's your favourite character? Um, I have seen Zootopia. Um, I had like a kind of mixed opinion on it. I found the film quite dark for a Disney film and an animal film. My favourite character is Judy because the actress who actually plays her um, plays Snow White slash Mary Margaret in my favourite TV show Once Upon a Time. Um, also Josh Dallas who play, who is her real life husband and um, also in Once Upon a Time. I can't remember what character he plays but it's the character who shouts at Judy for um, are you going to go get him, are you a real cop when she's um, doing her little rounds as the warden. Um, I don't really... That is like my favourite, um, it's one of my newest favourite Disney films. I did find it quite dark, um, I can't really explain, I'm not going to go into it in case people haven't seen it and it spoils stuff, so I'm just going to leave it out. But if you've seen it, you may understand where I'm coming from. Um, Simba's Guard asked, do you hope that Kiara, no, that Disney allows the Lion King, the Lion Guard, sorry, to grow up like Kiara did in The Lion King 2? Um, honestly, yes, it would be really interesting because apparently Kovu's coming into it. And he has his original voice actor, like his adult voice actor from the film. And I don't know what age they're going to portray um, Kovu as. Like, is he going to be a teenager or a little bit older than Kiara and Kovu? Um, it would make sense to have Kiara and Kovu, um, Kiara and Kion have grown a little bit and for Kovu to appear. So it kind of makes sense. So in a sense, yes, I really hope they grow up a little bit per season because, you know, it would make sense. Um, Veronica Sportacus Constantines, I cannot pronounce, I'm so sorry, I'm going to say that later as well, um, asked, when did you see the Lion King musical? Um, I saw the Lion King musical in 2013, when it, the first and only time so far, it has, um, came to Scotland. I went to see it with my grandma in the Edinburgh Playhouse. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really hope it comes back or I am lucky enough to travel somewhere to go see it. Um, it's really good. I love it to bits. Um, Marielle the Keybash Girl, who's your favourite character from The Lion King? Nala. <laughs> She's always been my favourite character since I've been a kid. Um, so yeah. Ginger Alley, 1994 asked, have you seen The Jungle Book 2016? I thought it was awesome but I'll always love the original. Even though I love the film and this may sound hypocritical, I really hope they don't make a CGI remake of The Lion King. There are some things you shouldn't touch. That's true. Um, how would you feel about a CGI remake of The Lion King? P.S. I love your collection. It's very impressive. Well, first off, thank you. Um, I have seen The Jungle Book, uh, the new one, the live action remake. I loved it. Like I had like shivers and stuff. It seemed so powerful and I loved like the remake. It was probably... Um, the Jungle Book, I think, is the only live action remake I've actually seen. So that's why it's my favourite. Um... For a CGI Lion King, if they did make one, I would give it a chance at least to see how they would go about doing it. I know they couldn't have humans and stuff. Um, also, voice actor wise, I hope they bring back, if the original characters want to do it, um, like Moira Kelly, and Matthew Broderick and stuff. Um, I prefer their voice actors. Um, don't get me wrong, I can't remember the actor's name who voices Nala in the Lion Guard. She does a good job. Um, I like Simba's too, but I'm not too keen on it, but I would, I don't know if I would want a live action remake. I would like to see it if they made one, but it just depends how they would go about doing it, so I don't really know. 
In fact, yeah, I would like to see it, and I would judge it then. I'm not going to say anything if it. Cause I don't think it'll ever happen, but who knows? Um, if my phone goes back the right way. Carly Epson ninety nine asked, "Who is your favorite character from the Line Guard?" This includes other characters like Simba, Nala, Kiara, Tifu, Zuri, and other characters. Um, my favorite member, favorite character from the Line Guard. Um, I'm gonna go with someone new. I'm gonna say Fully. She is my favorite character, like member and character of um, the Line Guard. I really like how headstrong she is and how like self confident she is, and that's like really what you want to be. And I love it to bits. Um, yeah, Philly's my character. I feel like I can relate to her quite a bit. Um, yeah. Little LPS fan asked, What is your favourite episode from The Lion Guard, if you have seen them, or what is your rarest a Lion King item? I have seen The Lion Guard, even though we're here in the UK. Um, USA are really far ahead of us, but I've been watching it through... Um, I can't remember. I've been watching it on a site anyway. Um, and it's been airing in the UK, I think we've had about six episodes so far, um, it only started in April, April, March, no I think it was April. Um, my favourite episode so far, I really liked Bunga and the King when they were singing Hakuna Matata, that was like my favourite and like I was crying, like I had tears and everything because it just hit me um, so much for like growing up to it and seeing it again, I loved it to bits. Um, Ninja Girl Sakura one asked, How, "Did you like the Polyglands World in Kingdom Hearts 2? Yes, I did. Um, I've actually played it. I have like the remix, which is the remastered version for the PS3. Um, I've watched them online. I watched the full thing online. Um, and when I went to replay, like when I played it for myself, I got past the first part of the Lion King world and could never get back to it. Um, I really struggled because Kingdom Hearts is a game where you have to go one world to complete this world and stuff and." I would really like to get back into it. I really did like it. Um, Kingdom Hearts, like I've never actually properly played the game. Like I only bought it for the Lion King world and when I started like getting into Lion King I would search up stuff and find up that. Um, I really did enjoy it. Um, I liked playing, what was my favourite part? I liked the part on the second part, I'm sure it's the second part when you go back. And Simba's in the jungle again after he runs away because like Scar's ghost is returned. And you I think you see Mufasa then as well. I can't honestly remember, but that's like my favourite part. Um Let me see. Where am I? Val Perez said, Hi Nals. Hi. Um Jade Grant asked, apart from Nala, who is your favourite Lion King character? Uh <laughs> I don't know. Kiara. Um, Kiara's my other favourite character. Um, I really like how headstrong she is. Like, I know she's like the female version of Simba, but I really like Kiara as well. Um, Siri99 asks, do you prefer Kovu or Simba? I've been collecting the Lion King for a while now too. I'm also going to the West End musical soon as well. Well that's awesome. I really hope you enjoy the musical. I really did and loads of other people did and I hope you bring back some awesome merchandise. Um, as for Kovu or Simba, I'd have to say Simba since I've grown up with Simba and Kovu is like a secondary character, if you understand what I mean. Um, King Simba said, I have two questions. Do you think Disney should make a live action Lion King film? Do you think Disney should make a Lion King film on Mufasa and Scar when they were little? Well, my CGI film that I said earlier, I would watch it if they made it um, just to see what it was like. Um, I don't know if they should make one or not. I feel like, in a sense, they should leave it alone, but in a sense, I'd like to see it if they didn't make it I'm in one of those 50-50 situations. And yes, I would like to see a, like a film on Scar and Mufasa when they were little. Um, I have the Six New Adventures books, which have a tale of two brothers in them. And that kind of, I know, it, well, people argue that it's official and not official, but to me it's like not official. Um, but it tells you a little bit of their background, and it has a haddy in it. And how Scar got his scar from like a water buffalo. If you go on my channel and go on my playlist, the Lion King book playlist, I actually have like the six new adventures uploaded. So if you want something to do, I have things uploaded there you can watch. And I got a message. Uh, so I've got um, all six books and I've got like other books there as well. And I've uploaded a Lion Guard comic and I'm going to be uploading Simba the Fortune Teller, which I got the other week. So yeah. Um... I have no idea how you pronounce this. <laughs> Guy, 
Guys up Android Apple. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. <laughs> um, who, what is your favourite character in the Langard? What do you think of the Langard and how happy I am to see you, Queen Ella? Well, thank you for commenting and asking me a question. Favourite character again is Billy. Um, I'm going to speak about Tifu and Zuri actually. <laughs> really, Zuri is really whiny, but you can love her, and Tifu is just adorable. I really want a little plush of her because she is really cute. Um, what do you think of the Langard? I love the fact that they've made a Langard, a Lion King Langard audience, like for younger audiences. Um, even though I'm nearly 18, I'm still watching it and I still love it and I really like the new generation style. Um, Harmony Rose Videos asked, what is your favourite to least favourite The Lion King movies and who is your favourite character of all three? Um, Simba's Pride is my favourite, then it goes Lion King, Lion King 3. Um, I did like Lion King 3 but um, meh. <laughs> And who's your favourite character of all three? Nala. Um, I like the f the Nala and Lion King 3. I'm sure there goes like a... I'm sure... I can't remember. I haven't watched... I've probably last watched it last year. There was like a longer version of the argument. And you kind of see more of Nala in the jungle um, during that time. Karen Owen asked, Do you like the Lion King or the Lion Guard? I like them both the same. Um, and see when I'm actually going through these questions. <laughs> I feel like I've missed a question. One second. It's just, yeah, little L LPS fan. I'm so sorry. I forgot your second question. <laughs> what is your rarest Lion King item? Um, I have him here, I believe, as my Gemini Kovu pajama case, who has spent like 30 euros on. Um, I'm so sorry for missing your second question, by the way. I actually don't know if I did answer it or not. I don't think I did. <laughs> um, so Gemini Kovu, he... Um, he is made by France and he's a pajama case. I did do a review on him. Um and it's like really rare and sells for like a hundred and fifty pound on eBay. So I got him for like twenty five, so I was really happy. Um I'm so sorry for missing your question, by the way. Um whoops. Now I don't even know where I was. Um Okay, Super Sister fifteen asked, Do you have the Mufasa blush? If you do, where did you get it? Like the giant one. Sadly, I don't own like the Jumbo Mufasa. He's just way too expensive to buy nowadays. On eBay UK, he's £400 and there's no way I'm spending that. I do have several other plushies of Mufasa. Um, like this one here is my favourite. It's my Walt Disney World Mufasa plush. Um, I got him from eBay in America for, I think it was $15. And he's really cute and really beanie. And he's lovely. I'm just going to move him there so you don't see Kofi's butt because that's weird. Um, okay. Metalhead Head Rises, it's great to hear you so happy and confident about loving Lion King. Collecting is so much fun. My questions are, what are your favourite Lion King items to collect, e.g. plush, books, mugs, etc. What other movies do you really love and are there any other things you would like to start collecting in the future and are you enjoying the Lion Guard? Well thank you. If you're passionate about what you love, shout it across the world, that's what I say. Um, what are my favourite Lion King items to collect? I love ornaments, um, they're quite hard and quite expensive to buy now, especially like snow globes, um, like whenever I see a nice snow globe it's always over like £150 and maybe like £30 postage, postage and they're either collection only and nowhere near where I am. Um, other things I like to collect are like unusual items, I didn't bring any over um, but when I'm looking at my bookcase, what do I see, I have so much stuff I don't even know where to focus on now. I have, like, it's like a toothbrush holder with Simba on it, um, and he's winking, and I got it for like 99 pence back in 2014, and I really like that. Um, do I have anything else that I can just spot that's quite unusual? I probably do, and I'm just being, like, very blind about it. But anyway, I've got quite a bit. Um, what other movies do you really love? I love Tangled. Um, I feel like I can rep well, relate to Rapunzel in quite a way. Um, I have a Tangled collection. I'll just show you some. I just bought my, my plushies out. Um, I have my two Rapunzels. Um, like Maximus. And I also have a little Pascal here. Um, I do have um, other Tangled stuff. Like I have last year's limited edition doll set. 
the Heroes vs Villains. It comes with Rapunzel, Mother Gothel and I have like loads of stuff off in my cupboard. Um, it's getting quite crazy now and I really want to get a shelf for it all but my dad doesn't want to put up a shelf because he reckons he'll ruin my room and not do it right. So I'm kind of bummed there. Um, yeah, I feel like I can relate to Rapunzel in quite a lot so I kind of took to that movie like I never seen it when it first came out, um, like when it seemed in 2010 I wasn't like a big Disney fanatic like I am now um, and I was really happy, like when I saw it, it was airing on New Year's at one point, I think 2014 I think it was on New Year's Day when I was having dinner, no it was Christmas 2014 I think, I don't know but it was a Christmas a few years ago, it was on TV when we were at my auntie's for Christmas dinner and I watched it and I was like, I really like this film. So and Manny always cries at like the end of the film and she was crying and I was just like, oh, okay. Um, and are there any other things you start collecting in the future? Um, other things I collect in now are like some sums, but I only just like pick them up every so often. Other things I'd like to start collecting in the future? I honestly don't know. If I had like my own place, a <laughs> bigger room, um, I'd like to start collecting Disney traditions, um, like the Disney, they're like carved Disney ornaments. Um, I'm doing a thing for Christmas with my mum with Disney showcase ornaments, so that's a secret um, until near the time and I'll show you guys what I'm doing for her. Um, I'd like to start collecting Disney traditions. I have a few. Um, I have like some tangled ones, I have the Lion King ones so far. They're also ringing out a Timon and Pumbaa tradition by the way in September. Just thought I'd throw that out there. And my mum gave me her birthday present which was the Sisters Forever Anna and Elsa she got from my auntie. But it's sitting in my room now until she can get herself a display cabinet. So yeah, I'd really like to start collecting Disney traditions if I had like space in the room for them but I don't right now. Um, but if my mum gets a big enough cabinet I might just move in with it. So yeah. Are you enjoying the Lion Guard? I love the Lion Guard to bits. Um, as once again, I'm glad to see the Lion King, like, exploding, in a sense. Like, it's all over the place now again, and more people are getting noticed, like, it's getting more noticed. Um, also, there's some parts where people are saying, like, oh, look, it's Kion, when they're, like, looking at a Simba plush and stuff. Um, I've seen quite a lot of people get annoyed by that, but what can you expect? Um, I just hope the Lion Guard doesn't take over the Lion King and even though with the Lion Guard we see like new plushies of Lion King characters like for example the adult Simba and Nala maybe they'll bring them over here like adult Simba was like released last year like again for Christmas kind of time um, I hope we see original characters returning um, plush wise and, and the thing like I hope we see an episode with Scar in it like the new episode um, Kion is kind of like doesn't want to use his roar anymore and that episode is coming out in June uh, I'd love to see like um, another Scar plush come out maybe the same one because my one's like really different I don't even think it's official but um, I'd also like to see like a Zazu um, Kion, not a Kion, a Tifu and Zuri plush that kind of thing um, also um, Cheesy and Chungu I'd love to see stuff of them um, now like in the UK now, um, today is the 27th, I think this video is going to be up today anyway, the 26th, um, yesterday, the Lion Guard Panini album was actually released in the UK. Um, I got a bundle of it, I'll show you, it's just over here for 3 Um, It's like a monthly magazine is coming out. Um, it comes with a Lion Guard sticker album, it's just like a pull out thing. Um, so for 3 you get a magazine as well and this is like a monthly magazine. Um, yesterday I uploaded the comic that's actually from it, The Day of the Crocodiles. Um, it has like loads of activities through it so like and it comes out next month as well. Um, I'm actually going to throw one of these into the giveaway as well as a little extra and I'll buy some extra sticker packets and you can win stuff and there's competitions and stuff through it. So yeah, it's really good to see the Lion King getting noticed, the Lion King and Lion Guard really being noticed again. Um, it's been nearly five years since we've had like a proper release and it also comes with this little stamper set. So it's good to see it like uh, coming out again, even for a younger audience because it means it's more stuff for us and there's more likely original characters going to come out. So that was a 
yeah, I'm loving Lion Guard in a short sense. Um, Lucario Lover said, what is your favourite Lion King item? Um, is it all like an answer? I don't actually know what my favourite Lion King item is. Um, I like my lamp. I don't know if you can see it, but it plays like a Matata, like when you press the button. And my friends love it. Like, if I invite my friends around, they always press the button and it sings. So whenever they come around, like, I turn the second option off. Because it really annoys me sometimes, but what can you do? Um, I really like my lamp um, that plays Hakuna Matata. I also got a WDCC Nala, which is like the Walt Disney Classics collection, which I'll be doing a review on for next week. Yeah, for next week. Um, she's really lovely. Like, I love Lion King, like, ornaments and stuff that are like in a set. But also quite hard to find and really expensive, so... Tito Fan asked, what was your most difficult thing to find from your Lion King collection? What have you thought of the first series of the Lion Guard and who is your favourite Lion King character? Um, the hardest to find, Gemini Kovu once again. Um, I don't actually, yeah. He was probably like the hardest thing to find. Like, because I, I got Kiara in 2013 and I probably started hunting for him at like the end of 2014. And like... They were selling on eBay for so much money and I got mine from a French site where the person was kind enough to send him over to me and she also threw in like a little teddy which Jazz now owns so I don't actually know if you can see him but he's at the back somewhere kind of lying in a death position. Um, what have you thought of the first series of The Lion Guard? I loved it. Um, we're, I think we're halfway through the first season the US wise. Um, like they were taking long enough breaks to kind of make it last throughout the year. Um, but I've loved it. Now, there's been some episodes that really hit home for me and I really enjoy enjoyed it. Who's your favourite Lion King character? Nala once again. Uh, Golden Girl Gamer asked, when did you start collecting Lion King and at what age? This is going to be another video topic I'm actually going to do. Um, how old am I now? <laughs> 17. I think I was either coming up for 13 at the time. Because I was in second year of high school. Yeah, I'm going to say 13. <laughs> I actually can't remember. Um, so in 20... 2012, yeah. 2012 and um, I was coming up for 13. Does that actually make sense? Yeah, because I'm 15. No. <laughs> I don't actually know. I, I can't even count. Hang on. 4, 13... Okay, I can't do maths, but I was 13, and it must have been 2012, 2013, I don't know. Um, I lost my gran, like, two years previous, and um, it just, like, it was, like, sorry to get into, like, a grieving process, like, buying things to get over her, in a sense. Um, there's, like, a bird just staring at me through my window. Um, it started off as a grieving process kind of thing, like, I was never over her death, and now... It's not turned into like a problem as such anymore. Like I've overcome the grieving process. Um, I've accepted stuff and so on. Um, so it's just now turned into a hobby as such. Um, I'm not total mad anymore. Like my camera decided to tell me that I had like exceeded like the record limit of 23 and a half minutes. So I didn't realize this videos went on this long. But as I was saying, it did turn into a grieving process. But as such, went to a hobby. And I've overcome it and stuff. So I'm really proud of myself in that sense. Um, what was the last question I just answered? Um, oh yeah, so I was 13, 14-ish at the time. 12, 13, I can't remember. Um, so yeah. Sorry for going blank there for a second. I was just reading a comment because I'm stuck between two that I've just answered even though it was like two minutes ago. So go Golden Dark Gamer, I did answer your question. So Maya Hansen, I don't know if I've just answered your question. But I'm probably going to answer it again but in a different way or say something else. Um, what made you love the Lion King and what is your favourite Lion King thing? Um, I grew up with Lion King when I was little so it's been like a growing up process. And when, as I said, like when my grand died it just turned into like... A grieving process as such but I've overcome it now um, but it's always been a big part of my life since I was a child um, 
I used to have the Hasbro singing and dancing symbol when I was young. I had the special edition DVDs. Um, some I had like the Pride Rock playset, like the 2003 one, which I have with Sarabi, Mufasa, and Baby Simba. So it's not like just started. I've always been like brought up with it. And what is your favorite Lion King thing? Um. Once again, from the other questions, I don't really know. I've got too much to pick. Um, I'm going to see a plush this time with it now. I just knocked over a bottle. Favourite Lion King plush. Even though half of them aren't here. Well, they are here, but... I really like my part in Kiara and Kovu. Um, I really like them. They're probably one of my favourites. So I'm going to shut this door now because you probably can't see. Um... Lottie the Jug asks, where did you get all your Lion King stuff? Everywhere. eBay, car boot sales, charity shop, friends, family, Facebook sale groups, um, Gumtree. In fact, I don't actually think I've got anything from Gumtree. I don't know. Um, so yeah, eBay, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. I got them from everywhere, really. Um, Cassandra Solemsky said, I would love to be your friend. Well, I'd like to be your friend too. Um, see if you've not already, I don't know if you guys know this, I have a Queen Nala page on Facebook. Um, I upload there often, well near enough, like all the time. Um, I post like just random Nala pictures, I post things from my collection, I post videos, that kind of stuff. So if you haven't already, give it a like. I've nearly got 4,000 likes on it, so support on that page would be awesome. I also have a collection page for like my things, which is Lauren's Lion King collection. I'm kind of active on there, but I'm more active on my Queen Nala page and my Deviant Art page, which is Little Rolo X3. Um, so give those like a watch and a like and a follow and that stuff if you haven't already. And Party Animal Sixteen said, "Is Nala beautiful? She is." We'll stop. Um, thanks. So basically, that is everybody's question answered in a sense, and I'm sorry once again LPS fan for missing the second part of your question, so that's all 25 questions just making sure I haven't missed any as I'm scrolling through okay, so that's them all so this is a long video and this is going to take ages to render um, so the second part is the part everyone's been waiting for I have filled my Kion cap up with everybody's name who's left a comment um, and this piece of paper and people have just fell out so two seconds okay I'll put you back in and I'll give it a sugar so I'm going to pick some now and I'm not going to look so the winner is I don't know if you can see that it's Maya Hansen so well done Maya for winning the giveaway um, what to do is give me I don't, if you know how to like message me on YouTube message me your address first and foremost um, and what beanie you want from the Disney store, it can be as like a miniature beanie, like it can be a small Simba or Nala, Timon Pumba, or a small Ono or any other small character you can get from the Disney store. Um, so I need your address first, which is a great help so I know how much this is actually going to cost me and then time I buy the rest of the stuff, it should be ready to ship by the end, middle or June. So well done Maya, once again everybody can congratulate Maya, because um, we're all supportive in this channel. So. Well done once again, thank you for all your comments, um, also thank you for like, the support on my channel as well. Um, so here's like, growing again which is amazing, um, so now I'm going to go on Xbox because I have about 17 messages <laughs> um, of people wanting me to come on, which I'm just going to close off because it's really putting me off. Um, so thank you guys so much, um, I really do appreciate everybody's comments, everybody's likes and stuff. Um, I really, I don't know if it's pushing it, but I want to kind of do YouTube more often. Um, I also want to start doing vlogs. I don't know if, how I would do that. Like, my phone doesn't have much, um, like, memory, so it might be a thing I do after Christmas. Um, like, my phone's due an upgrade, so I'll get a bigger memory unit kind of thing. Um, I'm just knocking the camera over too, I'm sorry. Um, I want to do different things for my channel, like I want to do face to face things um, I also want to play games um, I did do a live stream once <laughs> my, cat, like my computer didn't handle it, but what I'm planning to do is 
I have my Lion King PlayStation 1 game and I'm planning on recording it for you guys and putting it up. So it might be fun and I want to start doing like a series, maybe sometime in the future, where, because I have a lot of like Disney PlayStation 1 games like I've picked up, um, I've had for years and I've picked up from car boots and stuff and I want to start playing them because it'd be quite fun and they're really quite nostalgic. And after nearly 17, 18 years, I still haven't completed Spyro. Um, I could never do it. So guys, thank you so much once again for um, contributing to my channel and those kind of things. And uh, if you guys have your own Lion King collections, I watch videos, um, like if I'm not at work in places, I sit and watch them and I love seeing what you guys have. Um, don't forget to leave a like, rate and, and congratulate Maya for winning the giveaway. Um, and tomorrow, if this video is up on time, because this is going to take a while to render, tomorrow, Saturday, is the review on my little Simba's Pride Polly Pocket playset. So thank you guys so much once again. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, for a review if this video is up on time. Bye!